Okay. Um, so now we have uh, highlights and shadows done and all saved. We can see this. There's another way of, of uh, doing almost similar uh, thing. It's uh, just copy whole picture and um, let's put this uh, here so we keep it separate. And uh, then you remove uh, highlights and, uh, and shadows. Uh, let's uh, flatten all the uh, the image and uh, uh, let's go to uh, desaturate. Let's uh, desaturate the whole picture. And uh, let's adjust uh, brightness and contrast. So uh, what we will do, we will just uh, go crazy with the brightness. So we have bright spots and contrast uh, really, really uh, crazy. So what we have now, we have highlights and we have shadows the way we, we want. And we just drag it and drop it on the top of, of the previous picture. No, we don't need to save. And uh, let's remove this. And here we go to uh, soft light. And then we go to opacity uh, very low. So what we have now, it's a little bit more three-dimensional picture than we had before. And uh, but what we have, it's a higher contrast, and um, and uh, we lost uh, saturation of of the colors. So it's not always uh, the best way, but uh, sometimes when we want to lose the color, uh, it's another option that we can we can do. Let's see how it looks uh, with uh, shadows and without and with. As uh, If you we focus on this part over here, without and with, um, without and with, uh, I think without looks much better. So let's just grab it. I just wanted to show you that there is another way. It's a shortcut and uh, it takes less time, but as you can see the final effect, it's not very, uh, very impressive and very interesting. So uh, we have highlights, uh, shadows. Okay, and now let's uh, start uh, working with the colors and uh, let's see what we can uh, squeeze uh, from there. Um, so to work with the colors, what we have to do, we have to uh, duplicate the um, whole picture. As you can see, uh, I duplicate picture many times. Um, the reason why is because when I work with the, with the whole uh, frame as itself, it's easier for me uh, to to do uh, adjustments, not for separate layer, but I can imagine how the picture will look like as soon as uh, as I adjust it. So uh, let's go to adjustment uh, because um, we remember that our picture from a raw image uh, when we go to auto uh, gave this really cold uh, effect. Um, with this picture, I'm, I think it might look quite right, but let's see. Let's go to adjustment and uh, let's go to uh, to auto color. As we can see, it uh, this is um, a very interesting uh, effect that we got. Uh, it's a little bit uh, too uh, too much, one step too far. But uh, I think that overall, uh, the picture itself in the colder colors looks uh, much better than than in warmer. Uh, because we have this uh, winter feeling, uh, and uh, and I think it looks quite alright. So something in between those two pictures will will be uh, the best option. This one is too green, and uh, she doesn't look very healthy. Uh, but if we grab the 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 uh, frame ourselves and and just drag it and drop it, and then work with opacity, we can find the halfway between those two pictures, between those two. We found the middle ground, and, and now we have this gray color over here, and uh, nice uh, colors over there. So our frame looks quite in, uh, uh, quite interesting. But if we uh, come back to the uh, frame that we had here, and uh, for example, our 
uh, if we don't want to do this automatically and uh, we don't want to use autocolor or for some reason autocolor doesn't doesn't work uh, we can go to color balance and uh, balance colors uh, ourselves and we can get the same uh, adjustments or, or, or different adjustments uh, by doing that um, there's tone balancing with uh, different uh, part of, of a frame uh, of, a, of a picture uh, working with the shadows with mid tones and, and the highlights so uh, we we have uh, quite a, a huge control on what we uh, what colors uh, we will get uh, uh, at the, at the end uh, so uh, we can we can do that I think it's the best way of, of doing this uh, really uh, it's um, exactly uh, w what I just showed you and um, you can always try uh, to work as a, with a black and white. I, I wouldn't advise you to work with photo filter. The um, effect it's uh, it's not very interesting, uh, especially here. So we have a we have a uh, let's close this one. Uh, we have a picture that looks uh, quite right. As you can see now on the top, uh, I'm gonna name this colors. Um, okay. Uh, If I kept it, uh, I was. Uh, if I tried to do this on the same, uh, on the on the same picture, it might look uh, different, and uh, then I will lose um, some of, of the layer that I want to avoid. So the the simplest way was just to duplicate, and uh, that's what I did. So the colors we we have, uh, I think, fairly sorted, and uh, they look uh, quite right uh, in general. So and now what we have to do is uh, duplicate picture once again. Yes, I know not many people do that. Uh, I just uh, I think it's a habit uh, a bit or uh, to to do this uh, from by <coughs> by myself and uh, duplicate you know this sorry I duplicate this uh, so many times and uh, let's see auto contrast what it will do. It uh, brighten up. Uh, a picture bit and uh, another reason why I'm duplicating uh, that because you can compare this not side by side like usually we do but compare this over the uh, picture that you have by clicking is the simplest way to grab and uh, drag and drop yeah so we have uh, brighter and okay but let's see if we try to uh, change the contrast and um, image adjustment uh, brightness and contrast uh, ourselves so brightness and the contrast what I try to do now is uh, to go uh, a bit crazy because what I've noticed it's um, another way of doing uh, nice contrast and and uh, and uh, contrast adjustment it's it's just to drag a high contrast picture and to go to opacity a bit lower uh, with that and what you get it's a different effect than what we have yeah okay compared to what we have yeah okay so it's up to you which uh, way you decide to do I'm gonna stick to to uh, I think the better was uh, was to be honest uh, was the original one so This one. 